This matchup's taking place in Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. it to the 34. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down at the 48. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. down immediately. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. They hand it off. Tries to get around the corner. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He fights forward to about the 33. And this play is number eight on the drive. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. 
Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 34. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Zips it right. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. And now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. And they're coming after this punter. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Cornhuskers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle made at the 33. That makes it first and 10. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop at about the 41. That brings up second and one. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's leveled at the 44-yard line. Brought down at the 46 yard line. From the 46 yard line, first down. Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 37. That's a deep That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Second and nine. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. That makes it first and And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ready. 
Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he hauls it in. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. It's the ninth play of the drive. And he's taken down at the one. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Bruins! That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. It's very important for this offense to get on track early in this game because if they find their rhythm early, it's very, very difficult for the defense to slow them down. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 81 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-3. Excellent kick. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bruins really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. from their own 37-yard line. First down. Pitch is back. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. No gain. That makes it second and 10. He's at midfield. First down grab. First and 10, ball on the 45 yard line. and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Zips it to the back. Tackle around the 41-yard line. down and they need to get it down to the 35. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 23 yard line. from the 23-yard line. It's first down. Toss left, and he stopped in his tracks. That brings up second and 13. This is the eighth play of this drive. He 
he gets hit out of bounds around the 15 yard line. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. The 10-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, Bruins. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Slings it quickly to his halfback again, and he hits him hard at the nine-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Ball inside the ten-yard line. Second down. He laterals the ball. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Nebraska! <laughs> Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. An 11-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Nebraska to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He wants it all. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Now he pitches it. Nice run there. Harden gets about four yards on the play. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings him the middle and down he goes at the 48 yard line from the 48 yard line first down he makes it to the 48 yard line so he decides to hold on to it and it goes nowhere a nice run up the middle and this play is number eight on the drive he throws it 
that close to being intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Powers awaits the snap. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up a field goal. Play action. Wants to throw outside. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From their own 42 yard line. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. He steps out at around the 48-yard line. The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. Man left, man left. It's second and long. Ball on the 48-yard line. Watch two. Watch two. Here we go. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 43. That'll be a gain of three yards. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He punt. No, he faked it. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to about the 49. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they hit him in the backfield. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. First down. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Now 
With a quick throw. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. They'll line it up again on third down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. ten. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. From the 10-yard line. First down. Touchdown, UCLA. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He makes the PAT. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, gets out to about the 21. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Hand off to the left. Brought down around the 20-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 20. And he has it on the corner. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. And they push him out around the 35-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 35-yard line, first down. UCLA holds a four-point lead. They'll work the left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Five wide. Here we go. And he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Second down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 24-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. it up and it's good and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 at the 30 and he's tackled at the 40 yard line in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Throws a laser across the middle. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. And the safety with the interception. safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. UCLA up seven points. Going deep, lays it up there. He caught it. Tackle at the 12-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. The Bruins will use their first time out of the half. Kicks up, and it is good. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. UCLA's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up. Try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make them move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They get about four on that keeper. That makes it second and six. From their own 29 yard line, second down. Gets out to about the 31. Bounds at the 34 yard line. Powers is the punter. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. and picks up maybe four. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And a quick throw, and down he goes at the 49. Sacked on the play. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Bring him down at the 46-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Throws it out there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. He takes it at the 12, heading for the corner, and down he goes at the 27. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. That's a game of 11. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. It's 
that's a fumble. It's scooped up. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. So far, all the bounces have been going their way. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. They're about four yards away here on second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Nice run up the middle. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Slings it. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. After a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it 35. From their own 36 yard line, it's third down. Here comes the pressure. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Booming kick. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He makes his way to about the 38. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Stand 
And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That'll make it second and four. First down, grab. And they make the stop at the 47. Number 13 with the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Brought down around the 49 yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. He fires. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. I'm just not a fan of that call. It exposes a quarterback too much, which you don't want to do very often. Third and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 18. Kick is up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. UCLA's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And they'll get him in the backfield. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Two, Mike, two. Let's get the ball. Let's go. Green, 88. Green, 88. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. And he's taken down right around the 30. Brought down at the 38. So at the end of the third quarter, the Bruins in front. 
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. First and 10, ball on the 47. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled right around the 40. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Choose the mic. Ready! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. To him and he gets nothing this time around. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here we go. Quick pass. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. He's looking for his man. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle at the six-yard line. the ninth play of the drive. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's level at the four. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Just inside the five. It's second down. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. UCLA is up by six. Excellent open field tackle. Second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. He makes it to the 32-yard line.
and down he goes right around the 38 yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point. So when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. That makes it second and eight. From their own 41 yard line, second down. He makes it to the 42 yard line. Let's it go. And that one's incomplete. Awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. They'll work the left. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it. He's in space. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. Tackle made at the two-yard line. That's a team one on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. It's caught, and we are all tied up, folks. What a clutch score. Now it's going to be up to the defense to make this thing stand up. This is going to be a great finish. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point.
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just under two to go in the game. Little handoff. Gets to around the 42. Hammerhead! Hammerhead! Makes a grab and steps out right away. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Harden off the left side. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll get him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up. And the field goal is good. UCLA is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Going deep. This one will fall incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent pickup. 
The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. A great game here today in a tight one. 26-24, Bruin. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.